Good morning from beautiful Czech Republic. It is a gorgeous summer day out. We got birds flying, we got limited clouds, we got a cat stretching, a dog barking, fresh cucumbers, there's blueberries coming in, and we are really ready to see a massive push of progress. This is a content creator's dream unit. Okay, this is a power source from the inverter. Then we have one charging the drone charger here. So, I got my caffeine, I got my sugar. We're stoked to get moving, and we know that this push, this week, is going to make the van look so much further along. I can't believe we did that. <laughs> I can't believe we have this. Hope you're ready to join us. Look at this, I'll show you I'll show you the detail right here, right now. <laughs> Look at that, when we were insulating we did something not super traditional. So I glued the insulation, few blobs cut in shape and pressed it in. Wow, that just holds the paper. I had to rip off the whole insulation and now I'm looking at every blob. Whoa! There's no way such a... Wow, that was overkill amount of glue. <laughs> I could have saved one mammoth tube, I bet. <laughs> Scrape it a bit. Uh, clean the surface and glue the support. That's great, we can be using these panels we originally bought a van with. Some of them were a little bit destroyed, so we're uh, using the good ones. Easy life. And it saves us a lot of weight and I think this will be pretty well insulated because it's uh, it's air gaps in between. So recycled. Giving these things a second life. They will be perfect for just above the bed. We're combining two colors in the van, you know, for the walls, this dark gray and this light gray. This is all very conceptual. So you may have noticed that for a lot of wooden builds, this is where a lot of the build crimes are noticeable because it's really hard to be able to cover corners like this. And that's kind of the benefit of fabric because we're able to tuck all of this fabric up into the ceiling and here along the rubber edging. So that way you can't see any of the cuts. You don't worry about that finish at all. And then being able to stitch just here stitched all those to combine the colors, and then these panels are gonna cover up everything. So it just gives it like that finished look, you know? Plus it's a lot easier, to be honest, than trying to cover this up with wood. This needs to be removable, because this is where all the wires are for things like the tail lights and so on and so forth. So we need this to be able to come off in case we 
blow a bulb or there's an issue with wiring or something like that. Side one of two. So we have rivets in the wood, we have extra support in the middle. We have rivets all over the place in a metal, so it's removable. Vapor barrier, if even needed here. I'm happy this is finally an easy panel because uh, we're just leaning with our heads against this one. And it's kind of a, we can just sit here and have no obstructions to our backs. So I extra appreciate this is a simple panel. We'll be traveling with our two electric bikes at the very back of the van. So our bed will be lifted above them, sort of like a loft in some respects. In our previous build, the cabinets above the bed made it so we couldn't sit up and lean against them. In this build, we want both the side panels at the back to be completely bare. We have storage along the back doors in case we need any. We're both pretty tall too, so this will make the bed feel even bigger. This week, we're tackling the upper panels along the driver's side. This is including the one above the bed and our main office panel, which is in our seating space. Am I on autofocus? Here we go. We use this weapon tree to stab through all of the fabric so that when we go to screw everything in, the driver doesn't like grab any of the fabric, twirl it, and create all of those lines that are always such a mess. I love how we are recycling all of these panels. <laughs> so <laughs> lightweight this one. You know, the original plastic from the panels <laughs> we bought it. It's so much fun. Is it a good technique how it's doable, right? To do rivets only. It's, it seems to be so repetitive for us at the, at the moment. Especially if we plan on being able to take this down for anything. Yeah, that's why we already have to take the unit down yeah. multiple times. That's cool. That looks awesome. Oh, I want to step back and see. Hold on a minute. That's great. So this whole space we will not keep the same principle like we just did in the kitchen one because we know what we are using so it's easy to just create specific mounts for those objects we definitely want to have a fruit rack on this part always avocados oranges apples bananas all the time and that leaves us with most of this canvas blank <laughs> so that's gonna be fun to sort out a layout Prusa monitor that's the extension for the 3d printer and this play is gonna be mounted right here on this panel. That definitely is gonna require some custom framing and custom brackets to be pointing nicely down here. We know we want the drone mounted to be able to like hang it somehow. So Controller for the drone. Justin Colabier, all creators kit. Oh yeah, I actually need plenty more. I actually want my filters to be there. Nice. Each item we decide to mount on this wall will have custom holder. So that's gonna be decent amount of 3D printing and modeling, I think. This is one, this is just one giant guess. Some of you in the last video said, Margaret, never wrap again. That was awful. Yeah, no kidding, it was awful. Do I look like a rapper? My, my humor type is cringe. I've spent too much time with the British. <laughs> Just cringe humor is the best. How amazing is this plate? If you've seen either of our security videos or the video where we did our side door and our back doors, then you'll know that we have implemented Thunderbolt locks all over the place. We have four of them. Thunderbolt locks are an anti-theft deadbolting security system. 
And these locks can be used on a large range of vehicles, everything from a Sprinter van to a Chevy to a box truck. With just a click of the button, your Thunderbolt lock shoots across your door, making it impossible for any theft to open it. When you buy multiple locks, each one includes a remote controller and they will all be programmed to work in unison. Each lock also has a manual release. There's no concern of your Thunderbolt lock trapping you inside. Now there's an option for van lifers who wanna keep their locks operating independently from their factory locks. This new version has an easy installation. You just plug it into any constant battery power and it is good to go. Check out the link in our description to Thunderbolt your tiny home and make sure to use the code LM20 to get $20 off per lock. I just finished installing the panels and they look so good. I just finished this plywood, a little bit thicker so it holds all the equipment we're gonna be mounting on it. Drilled the holes, marked them, riveted in the car, rounded the edges so it doesn't cut through the fabric and um, what next? 3D prints, fabric? 3D prints and fabric! Nice. Let's see how these fit. This is a content creator's dream unit. It's exactly what we love. That means just going through the hustle and thinking whether you want to take a shot and take the backpack out and there's no space on the counter, all the dirty dishes, ah, not worth it. Versus just grab and fly. Bring it back, not folding anything, not organizing things away just locking back in same with the battery charger look at that you plug it in it stays in place starts charging if you need to take it out just pull it out take this out slide out and you're good to go this 3d print is designed around this battery and these locks actually hold it in place and because this is sliding from the side you never pull it out when taking the battery pack out this is so good. Same with this charger. I can just have a wire permanently here and plug it in. Controller for the drone will be right next to this. I'm still printing the model. I only have a sample here to see if it fits. It does. So I'm printing the finished model. And then having it right next to it means the charger can be charging the remote at the same time. This is Justin Climb, that's absolutely favorite tool. It's designed for holding flashes for photography, but we mainly use it for the phone. You clamp it anywhere and start making time lapses. So the fact that we can just clip it to the wall. <laughs> and this is my favorite pack when we can just slide in and out this whole pouch with all my photography filters polarizers and the big stopper, little stopper. Mm. And the very last thing will be this Prusa 3D printer screen and that will be accessible from the driver's seat and we can see the progress and, uh, and control it here. Because the only cutout is the one for wires on this Prusa printer display, we keep everything only on two screws. That's pretty easy to mask out such as tiny little holes and that makes the whole panel super modular. So if we use it for something else, another phase of life, we can just 3D print completely different brackets. And this needs to be like this because you need to be able to pull it up and not hit the lens mm -hmm. and not hit the uh, propellers right. mm -hmm. and not hit this. That's amazing that so all the purples hang be... down. Mm -hmm. We spent a good amount of time going through this layout together. And because there will be some charging happening on the panel, Lottie needs to cut a few holes into the plywood. Then once the panel is mounted, we'll be able to run the wires through them. One thing we haven't sorted out yet is some sort of optional curtain that we can use to cover the panel if we want to. So if we roll up to some gas station and open up the side door, the drone doesn't have to be in full view of everybody walking by. It's pretty late. But this is the last upholstery of the video. Talking right through my scene. No respect in this place.
Last night, we finished upholstering this, like turned off the camera, got ready to leave, and then we realized a lot of this would look so much better orange. like it much more because it's already going to be next to the kitchen cabinet we just made last week which is a lot of blue so then we have a lot of orange it will match the Prusa setup and it's really easy because we have all the models already so we could just reprint it in a different color very limited effort and then all of the ones that we're not using we're gonna be mounting around the workshop and we'll be able like this clamp we use it still daily now we'll have a spot at the workshop it's been missing a home I would like to share experience with this custom apron I've been using for a few months now. Because I'm always hanging my Milwaukee driver, I have a pencil, and then I have a wooden finger as I called it. Everywhere where my finger would be risky I use this. <laughs> Measuring tape, a little square, adjustable. I have a scraper that is absolutely amazing tool on a daily basis, a utility knife or two, and this is important, my little notebook. <laughs> Always writing down dimensions because I keep forgetting or messing it up. Metal small ruler, marker, and this is the coolest one that's made out of a nail. And it helps me all the time. So if you want, we discounted them and you can get one on our website, ladiandmarga.com. And now it's time to go back to work. Okay, this is a power source from the inverter. Then we have one feeding the 3D printer to 30. Then we have one charging the drone charger here. And then we have one extra wire going down to, yeah, to my workstation, great. I think we can finish off this panel now. I'm gonna just zip tie and probably heat shrink all of this just in case. Public announcement time. Okay, shh, everybody. Village announcements are on. Like announcements we had in homeroom at school. Remember those in like third period and it would be the school announcements? Check village announcements. That's for the whole town. Maybe if we knew what tomorrow holds Maybe then we could make a difference Or maybe if we knew we would lose all hope We still got hope if we're still living So we get back up and start over again Like we waited for this day to begin So let's forget about Pinch me, this looks unbelievable. I did not expect it to turn out this good. Usually at the end of every week, we're just ecstatic that we didn't break anything. <laughs> and never expect that the project can look this cool. This is that main kitchen space, so having all of the fresh fruit here makes so much sense. And things like bread, all of the bulky fresh stuff that doesn't go in the fridge now has a home. We sat down, designed this in like 15 minutes, so much faster than looking for something that would fit this exact dimension. We tried the black, we tried the gray, we decided the black was better, but one of the prints didn't make it overnight. So next week. You may have noticed that these are still exposed all on both panels. That's because we're still coming up with our LED concept. So that will likely be some sort of a cover that will go down here. That's why we had the height limit. Pavel was so helpful this week also with helping draw a bunch of the models. It really sped things up for us.
Thank you all so much for watching. Without this channel, we would never have the opportunity to build something like this, to be as creative as we can be, to enjoy the journey. Because normally when you're building a camper van, you gotta, you wanna get moving, you wanna get going, you wanna get on the road. Your support, your viewership, your comments, your DMs are so inspiring and encouraging. We're able to slow down, take our time, and really think through all of these micro details. We wouldn't be able to do it without you. For those who are new, don't forget to hit subscribe, click the like button, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Every single week, we have multiple of these trade projects, as we call them. It's always a little improvement, a little extra thing that makes our daily life much easier here at workshop. This week, we were finally able to cut the windows in all of these garage doors, install double blazed windows, and let all the light get inside. We renovated this garage last year and from the very beginning we knew we need windows. They just seemed to be too expensive at the beginning so we are like, yeah, we're gonna just install ours later on. One year later, that became unbearable dark pit. Now it's just so much more friendly with all of the natural light and throughout the day we don't have to be burning electricity and lighting it up artificially. This tree is ready. Always such a nice break to take the dog for a quick walk and do some cherry picking. Mm. Oh my gosh, Buddy's parents are here. <laughs> I'm like in a random field and his mom's there with the car. They must have found a good tree. Ciao. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god.